Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 siege for you today and this is an excellent 3v3 siege and we have instantly a huge sally by Pergamon here today and we also have on the other side Path here preparing to come out to also join in the fun outside. We have obviously Pergamon and Path here, we also have Sparta which is actually a Wrath of Sparta uh, Spartan faction so it's a, kind of got some different units, they look a bit different against three Roman armies. Um, so it could be a really, really excellent one. It is very, very good. Um, and this was sent in by a member of the Discord. Um, so if you want to take part uh, in battles on the Discord or just send in your own replays that may then feature on the channel, um, please do join the Discord link down below. But so it looks like Parthia, not Parthia, Pergamon and Rome are getting ready to clash. Um, and it's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens. I mean, these are like a game of spears, throw our spears along this line. They should hold okay. I mean, they're against pre and stuff, so it's not like nasty legionnaires. It's only Principes here currently, so it should be, um, well, doable. Doable, we'll put it. I mean, these are legionnaires here, I think. No, they're also Principes. There are some legionnaires in here somewhere along the line. Oh, they might be all the way back in. This huge Roman army that's being built up here. But if you've been enjoying the content recently, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment to show your support. Uh, and thank you to all that have met, helped us hit 1,600 subs. I'm sure we can hit that 2,000 target very soon. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already, do subscribe if you want to help support the channel and get us to that landmark. As more infantry come in, I mean, look at that. That was a good hit there, actually, on the Agema Spears. This is a, a very thin part of the line, I guess, for uh, Pergamon. He's not got much here. The Romans can punch through that would be really, really good for them. I mean, that is kind of what is going to happen. I mean, but at the same time, they do have to worry to the Romans about the Sea of Parthian uh, troops. We'll have to see whether the Sally... I mean, I've seen the Sally being used a lot recently by attackers. We'll have to see whether the Sally can p uh, pay off this time. I mean, they're leaving one uh, force on their own. I mean, it is a Spartan army, so it should do quite well against the Romans on his own. And there's a little flanking force over there that they need to keep an eye on as well. But yeah, they need to quickly annihilate these two Roman armies, which is not going to be what an easy feat. And then uh, after that, get back inside and help their ally, probably. And there you go, the Calfrax charging straight in into the Legionnaires. That was a really good charge, right onto the corner of the uh, unit. They have flattened a lot of, uh, a lot of Romans there, we'll put it like that. And that was a good charge there. Now retreat. And let the next one come in. The next cataphrax is ready. It's like, look at this. It's like buses. One like leaves and then another one arrives. Apart from these buses are armor, clad in armor, and uh, are very, very painful. Oh, I got the wrong unit. That's so annoying. But anyway, you see, you know what's happened. We just saw it happen in the first one. But it does look like they're going to go after some archers now and some artillery. So these Sarmatians in there. And they've routed a general. I just realized I didn't... Didn't really see that, but they did just get a Legatus here. So that's huge already. Like, a Roman general already dead, and we're, like, not long into this battle. I presume, yeah, I presume it's, like, one of these armies here. I don't know. But a Roman general is dead. Um, so Parthia's doing some dangerous work here. I mean, he's already then sent another unit in. He's clashed with the uh, archers in the front lines here. That's certainly going to help. How are these men in cavalry losing? They're only fighting archers. They might, they're now fighting the uh, infantry, so I can see what they would be losing now. But Parthi is causing a lot of issues uh, in this early stage. I mean, Pergamon's also looks like he's doing quite well. I see only routing uh, Roman units. Don't see any Pergamon units routing just yet. Gemma Spears about to flank around. This is going to be very nasty for the uh, for the Romans. I mean, yeah. I mean, this is a very thin Roman line here. These Gemma Spears hold, holding the line. Cannot doubt the Gemma Spears. Cannot doubt Pergamon and their ability to... Uh, to hold the line, especially in this this Sally. I mean, Pergamon certainly is a very favourable Sally force because these Agamemnon spears are so useful. They got lots of spears and lots of javies, I should say, lots of javies, not spears. Yeah, there you go. They throw them in there into the Praetorians. They'll have to do their work there. And it looks like, uh, well, it looks like Parthia is cleaning up these uh, Romans out here. I mean, as they send out more and more Romans, just like. Isolating them, it just allows Parthia just to come in, sweep in, do some damage. But I mean, we've got some cavalry now helping, some auxiliary cavalry over here. 
to come and help save the day. I mean, these are path, uh, these path and troops are actually mercenary s Sarmatians, so they won't be so good in uh, like prolonged melee. So we'll have to see what happens there. The Romans are yet to really actually engage over here. We've got some uh, Hestati on the wall, which is good, a good start. But it looks like they're about to come through the breach. But as you can see here, this is a Wrath Spa version of Spa. This is the Royal Spartans, I'm pretty sure, the Spartan Hot Plights. These guys are very different to the uh, Grand Campaign ones. Just to show the difference, just so you know what I mean. So we'll have to see whether this DLC uh, fa version of Sparta is actually better than the uh, normal one. But it could be, it may not be. We'll have to see. The Romans here coming in now. Evercarty coming inside. They'll cut these men down. Hopefully. Well, they, that's what they hope. Swords against spears. They should do okay. Just need to keep an eye on, uh, like, the flanks with all the, uh, where all the Romans are landing. I mean, they've got a lot of Evercarty. I don't think, actually, this Roman army brought any archers. He's knocked a hole in here as well. So he's already at the main cap point, which is this spot here. This is what they've got to defend. But look at that. Look at all the Romans routing. Like, literally everything out there routing is Romans. I have seen some stuff for Parthia break. But, like, currently now it is looking pretty bad for the Romans. As another charge comes in from the camels. Fear the camels. The war beast of the desert. But, I mean, they are pretty light units. They're medium melee. So, they'll, they'll get cut down by the Romans. But... It's looking pretty nasty. It's not looking good for those Romans. Over here, I mean, Spar's holding the line ever so slow, slightly. Elephants, though! Elephants are in. And they will probably uh, certainly push back the line of Spartans. Might need to send up some archers, route these guys. Have these got any archers in the vicinity? No, I mean, it looks like Rome's in behind as well. So now he's protecting the, uh, well, the elephants, I guess. But you can still get archers up to here and you can still shoot over. I definitely would do that. But I mean, also this Roman unit now is probably going to go around the back of the Spartan unit and just kill it off. Though, is it really a big issue? Probably not. Spartan was condemned with that unit anyway with the elephants in there. Yes, these poor, poor Spartans are already dead. And then let's go back over to the side because that's where the real action's happening. That's what we want to see. Um, but yeah, you can see it. Look at this. It's like Kara hair all over again. There's like uh, well, cavalry charging in, horse archers firing. I mean, they're definitely doing some friendly fire. These are Sarmatians, though. This part, the Parthians don't care about the Sarmatian allies. Yeah, there you go. Look at that, focusing down their own troops. These Praetorians, though, they're doing a nasty bit of work. They need to get killed. They both, yeah, Praetorians and Legionnaires, they need killing off. I mean, Pergamon's did a good job. He's actually routed most of this Roman army. And that little flanking force that's it is now inside. And it's routing uh, archers. What have they got up here? Princope is doing their job. Running along here. They just need to get all of these archers off the wall. But Spar's not got a lot of uh, infantry left. He's having to plug up a lot of gaps with not many men. And uh, most of it is the spears against swords. So that might not end so well. But it looks like... Well... The Spartans here are actually holding still. How? 107 of them. They're actually not dying very quickly. And there you go. The elephants are going to go mad. This fire is coming in. And Rome's going to go and deal with it. He's like, right, that's it. Stop scaring my elephants. He's going to send in the Evercati cohort. Javi's first. Oh, jeez. That's like the front two lines of the Hell Archers here just cut down. Now they're running. They're like, no, run. They've only got like little loin cloths on so they can definitely outrun these uh these Evercati. I mean the Evercati is now gonna come springing around and the Royal Spartans gonna have to deal with them. It looks like Parthia's only infantry is Hillman might be mobilized here against some uh Princopes. But it does look like the Sally so far has worked. I mean look what's left. It's this tiny little bunching of Romans in the corner here. They're not so happy with uh what's happened I don't think. I imagine being these guys you'd just be like Oh, when you see everything come out, you're like, "Oh, I'm just not in for a great, I'm not in for a great time here." And especially when you see one of those Parthia, they must have assumed that this was going to happen anyway, with Parthia being on the defense. There's no way that this is not happening. But yeah, they've finally broken through here. It looks like uh, the Spartan hot plates finally breaking. What we got here? Periodical hot plates breaking as well. 
it's kind of almost a contrast on this side. Like, you've got everything over this side nearly. Uh, Romans uh, in retreat, fully retreating. On this side, Sparta really having a tough time in uh, basically holding back the Romans. No surprise here. Look at this pool, though. That's huge. You think you can swim in that? Probably. But it looks like the Romans are going to go up and capture this point. Um, it's not the main capture point, even though it looks like it should be. It's in like this little citadel of its own. It is only uh, like a secondary capture point. Like I already mentioned, this is the main capture point here, where the archers are all gathered. I mean, these archers, they need to keep gathering and keep shooting, because they need to kill all these elephants, which are still doing damage. And they're about to rout these hillmen. What's also in here? We've got Royal Spartans in here as well. If these elephants can break soon, that'll be huge. There they are on fire. Surely they've got a route now. Yeah, they don't look happy now. Yeah, there they go, running back the way they came. Flatten a few Romans. Oh, no, maybe they rallied at the right moment. I think they did. No, they're still out of control. So they just turned around. That's very unlucky for the Spartans. And these guys are now going to get trampled by... The enemy uh, troops, as they were anyway. But, I mean, Sparta's pretty low on stuff here. If, like, they break through this line here, which they probably will with these uh, elephants here. It's just onto archers. He's already running low on stuff. His general's a long way out. He's, like, a long way out. Like, he should not be that far. He needs to get back to the main cap point. Uh, we've got Prinkapace here just focusing down uh, Spartan hoplites. That's a real shame. You should really form Thor uh, hoplite wall. Give yourself a chance. Uh, this is a big play. I didn't see it happen, but the Romans, like the flanking force that came inside over here, must have captured this uh, gate. So it means that the Parthians can't get back inside, or the Pokemon can't get back inside. They're going to have to go all the way over here to get back inside. Which, in fairness, these guys might capture because they're, uh, well, they, supposedly I thought they were capturing this point, but they look like they're capturing towers first. But as you can see, this Roman player decided to, instead of camping in his corner, decided to actually come out and fight. I guess it's pretty noble of him, but it's to his death. He's going to be uh, going. His auxiliary carry here is going to get chopped down by Carfrax and Median Cavalry. The Warriors of the Desert are victorious again, once again, in a pretty deserty area. This is Petra, so I mean... It's very much in the desert. It's nearly in Parthia's territory, but it's not quite. I guess it kind of makes sense. Parthia and uh, Rome fighting each other like in Petra, like on a borderland. Don't know why Pergamon would be here. And especially don't know why Sparta would be here. We just assume that they were mercenaries. But yeah, so this unit's about to get surrounded here, but I've got some Evokai coming up. Unless this tiny unit here of Royal Spartans can get in and save the day. It might be able to do so. It's going to be very tired, though, if not exhausted by the time it arrives there. Yeah, and Rome looks like he's going to allow uh, Spars to just get back. Oh, he's going to throw Javis into the back of these guys. Oh, that is unfortunate. And there you go. The clash is about to happen for those two units. But yeah, Spyro's running out of stuff. I mean, he's got these uh, uh, Skiriatai here, or whatever they're called. They're next into the fight. I mean, I, we might want to send in one here and one over here. Because he's about to lose his Perioikoi uh, hotplate unit. I mean, look at this, though. This Skiriatai unit here. How many kills has this one unit got? It's got 69 kills. I mean, it's been focusing down from, like, the back here. All of these Evocati. That angle is nasty. You can just see. Look at this. The Javelin's coming in. This is certainly supporting this fight here. And there you go. These Spartan Hotplates have won the fight. They've got to go up against the Starty now. I mean, they could definitely do that. Spartan Hotplates versus Starty surely is a... I mean, numbers might not uh, be fair, but they could certainly give themselves a good go. Uh, Evokai coming out into the rear. Not so good. All these Javis that are doing, uh, certainly racking up. How many Javis do they have? They are literally throwing. They kill over 30 guys. They're about to get. Well, they're about to get another uh, flank here. These Periokoi hot plates are about to die. 
So well done to Rome there. And there you go. He's now able to flank around in the next unit. And then they're going to be able to f charge into those archers. And it could be an in could be an issue here for uh, Parthia and for Pergmon. They both uh, outside the walls. And they're going to go all the way over here. And Rome is still like... He's sort of camping. He's sort of, Well, not camping. But he's waiting at that uh, capture point ready for uh, Parthia and Pergmon to come in. Whether they will, who knows. I mean, more Prinkapes getting inside, saving themselves from the horrors that are happening outside. But I mean, Rome's... I think Rome might be okay. He's got quite a lot left. I mean, if you look at this, there's six units of archers here. Seven units of archers. And this is mo that make up most of the defenders. Not a good sign. Need more uh, Royal Hoplites. Royal Spartans, in fact. But again, here, look. These Scuriati are just like... Javi's like so hard into the side of these guys. Look at the bodies fall. Very, very nice. So, I mean... This Evercar unit should break. I mean, it's certainly falling back. They're just not happy with the losses coming in here. There's a lot of their Royal Spartan unit to get out of there in time. And now they charge in and they're going to route that Evercar unit. That's a very good play there. Sparta's holding on. He's doing a good job. He's holding on. With the very last stuff. And it's only one unit of Romans outside now. Just just finish them, Parthia, and get back inside. You really need to. You, you even need all these units here. You could start sending stuff over. Hot, try and get a breachhead. A beachhead, sorry. I like how they put Cataract just walk through any infantry and you go, How dare you attack us? Like, the audacity you have to attack us. And here come the Eastern Cataracts again. Dead. Poor men. Dead. Ingen and Sarmatians as well. And they're just going to surround them and then just kill them off. She starts sending stuff over though. 100%. Sparta's looking in a real rough situation, that's why. Mainly got archers and they're all camped back there. You have to have an arch unit engaged just to hold these guys in place to use his archers. It's never a good sign. Where's his general? Is he in combat? Oh, he is. He's trapped over here. A 2v1 situation in favour of Sparta. But I don't think it's a 2v2. I guess at least maybe as the tower. No, it's neutralised. We are Spartans. We train literally every day for this. For glorious death in battle. This is Sparta. I mean, it's not. I mean, it isn't really Spar. It's actually Petra. Don't know why the Spartans are here, but uh, it's it's excusable. And here you go. Parthia is uh, starting to come up. He's starting to get. In. He's going to get into the gate, I think. First, these Romans shouldn't get there in time. Send them in, Parthia. Send these guys in. They really need to just get inside, capture this, and get a bit of a foothold so you can get around. They like, could get in now, and they could just uh, capture this. Real, real shame. Ah. Oh. Please send something in. Don't just be sending melee cavalry in first. Send everything in. Because, I mean, these archers, these horse archers, these armoured archers, he's got noble horse archers. They're just as good in combat. They're really armoured up. But look at these archers. They're just being herded up by these Roman legionnaires. I mean, Spartans are holding. They're going to break that Princope unit. Just needs Parthia to hurry up and get inside. Which he's not going to do. I mean, he is, ever so slightly. But he had so much more time to get inside. Like, they were here and he was running past the gate. He had definitely had enough time to get inside and do some damage. Which is a shame. May have just not been lucky. May have been just uh, microing elsewhere. Not there's much else to micro for Parthia right now. And they have the uh, arch on their side, I guess, through the uh, defenders. Or, well, I guess they're sort of the attackers now, but they're not really. Um, actually, they're not. They're not controlled by anyone. I think they've been neutralized. More Romans coming.
But there you go, it looks like Spartans are basically finished. Which is a bit worrying because that was going to be a race against time for who is going to, well, can the Parthians get through and get to this cap point? I mean, it's neutralized as it is. They're, cap they're recapping it out of the Spartans. Um, but, I mean, yeah, the Romans could cap this and then just become the defender. It's this scary Artai here needs to get back inside. Just jabby this general. They can kill this general. It's the last general. They might cause the chain route. That's what they've got to hope on. I saw the general just charge in there and he just... It was like that charge was so bad that it was just like they accidentally just walked into the unit. And just like, oh, I do apologize. Didn't mean to walk into you there. But yeah, now the carriage is going on. I mean, I guess they're not being uh, too aggressive with the general because they know that... Uh, well... He's pretty uh, valuable right now. I mean, it looks like he's just going to sit at the back of the battlefield a little bit. It's not a bad decision, um, but I don't know why. Why would you not just just mop up all these archers? You, they're archers. Avakai over here, holding the line. I mean, there's not many of them left. 80, they did break through. Uh, the sun break through of these uh, cavalry. Why are these two just up here? How do they get up here? They just like, oh, we're just gonna have a have a picnic, you know? Just we'll let you guys do all the hard let work. Yeah, look at these two guys. They're just chilling. Gonna need your work. You could get in behind. You could surround stuff. You could kill it. Imagine being a cavalry man in here, like one of these cavalry. You like you just after the first few horses are dead, like there'd just be a, like an impossible barricade to like try and get through. Just dead horses and men. Or dying horses and men. Reminds me a little bit of Agincourt. But we're going to fast forward a little bit. Um, mainly because there's nothing going on. I mean. Looks like the Parthians got a few troops. Oh no they're shattered. This unit is nearly dead. But I mean there's a lot of. So, I mean it's winning slightly still though. Surely Rome's going to capture this. And then Sparta's left with just about nothing. The Cretans now in combat. I mean, these guys are definitely different to the uh, old ones, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. They've, they've got a K for Cre Cretan as well now. Uh, that, well, the Wrath of Sparta version does. So I guess that's the only way they're different. I think they're the same just about in every other way. Maybe their perks are different. Who knows? But it looks like the Spartan general and what's left of his army is desperately trying to get over here to stop the... Uh, Cap from being taken. So the general is going to engage. He's got 89 men left. It's a Praetorian guy. That is not going to end well. And then we've got some spears here. They just need to go for the general on the cap point. Go for the general on the cap point. You can take them out, then you'll be fine. But no, he's going to go and take out the Praetorian guard over here. Not a bad idea, but I think this Praetorian guard is going to win whatever, regardless what happens here. They just need to get to the cap point and slow this timer down so it gives Parthia more time. If we can get Parthia inside, then they've got a really good chance of winning. Just because of his sheer cavalry, he can just charge into anything. Though the Romans could just camp the uh, cat point. And with their shields and armor, they should be okay. However, that's what they said at Karahair, so who knows? There you go, more infantry forming up the line. I mean, there's another unit back there, beating up unit. That will rejoin. I mean, what really does it really matter what happens? Probably not. So it looks like that is probably going to seal the fate of Parthia. I mean, they're not going to get inside. Sparta is just about holding. Pokemon is gone. Um, I mean, he's got like a tiny unit of Gamma Spears, but it's not going to help. And here we go. Sparta's about to fall. And there. There we go. Gone. I mean, finally... Uh, the path just realized that there is another way around. Which has not been captured yet. They could de definitely go and take this region. Or this uh, this uh, gate, sorry. Not this region. I mean, I guess it is part of a, a region. But uh, they can go take that. And then they'll be able to get inside. And able to do some rear charges on this. And break it. Also, well, this unit here is broken th uh, broken through. Maybe pushed through. Uh, Royal Carfrax. Good unit. Rear charge on these guys. And they will do work. They will do work. 
Look at this guy, surrounded by Romans. What could be worse? And now he's dead. So I guess it could be worse. Yes, yeah, so it's just coming down to a matter of seconds now. I mean, we're going to have a quick recharge to end the battle. So let's see what happens. For the glory of Parthia. Oh, and you kind of failed. I mean, there is Romans in there. I mean, I guess that rear charge surrounding them is uh, causing one to lose, but one to still win. But there you go. The timer ran out. They must have taken the uh, uh, main cap point and cost the enemy victory for, um, well, for the Romans. So this was sent in by Gasleak. So thank you for him for sending this in. Um, like I said, he's a part of the Discord. So if you want to send your own in, then do join the Discord. Uh, it will be in the link in the description down below. And you get the chance to play with other guys, um, including myself. Who are really into your Total War action. So Ghastly here getting 308 kills with his Eastern Cataphracts. Most of his uh, Horse Archers getting over 100 kills. His Camels getting over 100 kills. Um, and his Sarmatian Knight. Uh, Sarmatian Knight. Sarmatian Lancers did okay. Um, they were pretty standard. And then his Royal Cataphracts here. His best unit 388. No surprises there. And his Noble uh, Blood Carrier getting 218. So not, uh, 216 sorry. It's not bad either. Grim Guardian who is another member of the uh, Discord. I think all these guys are actually. Um. 153 kills with his archers, the best one, another one got 118, and then his best again with spears getting 175, another one getting 171, so not too bad either there, and then the best unit he should have probably brought more of, 190s Galatian swords, so well done to them, and Vertlin is playing his Sparta, 261 kills with his general royal Spartans, 111 with his Cretan archers, 162 with his normal uh, royal Spartans, uh, his uh, Skiriatai, 271, the best unit I think he had on the battlefield. All those Javis guys, just devastating. Um, and then his Spartan Hoplites only getting sadly 167. I mean, so these other units did really poorly for them. Really shame they didn't like, couldn't have done better with them. Then Persuado here, who's attacking the Spartan army with his elephants, 186 with his elephants. His best ever Carti, I think, is 311. Um, yeah, and then he started getting 266, which is excellent for them. And Mr. Pistols, uh, who's playing as one of the armies uh, facing Parthia and uh, Pergamon. Uh, his best units, I think, were his uh, Praetorians here getting 169. All of them getting over 100 to well onto them there. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, everything else kind of just got mowed down, sadly. A real shame to see. Then Shadow King, who is playing as uh, Rome, got 125 kills with his Legatus, who is still very, very fresh. Uh, his R Roman Heavy Honor did 217 kills. Uh, not a bad amount of kills there. His auxiliary cavalry getting 143. His Praetorian Guard getting 423 kills. That is excellent. Best unit definitely on the battlefield. Um, his Princapades getting two, 252 kills. That's not bad either. Um, another one actually down here getting 245 and 237. So not bad. Uh, 345, sorry, and 237. So not bad to them either. So well done to uh, Shadow King. He did excellent as well. So if you guys enjoyed, like I said, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. Let's try and hit that 2k mark, guys. Um, and also, don't forget to join the Discord uh, to see uh, whether you can join some battles, and also send in your own replays. And as you can see here, the Sally did not work this time. The tactic, which I've seen so many times, did not pay off. But until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.